Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I am running a powered external microphone now. So hopefully my audio is a lot better than what it previously was. Because with an external microphone before, it would not work at all. So hopefully now with the powered external microphone, it's got enough punch to uh, bring the audio up to a desirable level. Uh, if so, that may fix a lot of people's problems with the Contour Plus 2 as far as having external audio issues. And with that, I would like to send a very special thank you to a good friend of mine on YouTube. Uh, everybody knows him as the mayor or suburban rider. He had this microphone laying around and wasn't using it for the time being and sent it to me to try and see if it would uh, fix the problem I was having. And I did audio test on it last night. And the audio seemed to be a lot clearer and a lot louder to me anyway. Uh, I had to send him a message and let him know I received it. And told him I had a test did up. He said he would go look at it and I hadn't had a chance to check my YouTube inbox or Facebook or my phone or anything else to see if he's actually uh, sent me a message back. But uh, once again, thank you, Chuck. I believe this has taken care of the problem. At least I hope it has. Um, and once again, I am glad Contour is coming back into business. I really do love this camera. Even though I have had a few problems with it, I still love it. Because it just takes some great video. Uh, I would match it with, uh, with the uh, GoPro any day as far as video goes. Audio, I think the GoPro may have it. But uh, however, I don't know until I do this vlog and then play it back and listen to it. Yep, I'm still recording. And, uh, we shall see. I know I need to put a windsock on the microphone. Because I don't have one and I didn't have time to grab one off my other mics this morning. Which I've got one of them with me. It's uh, in my camera bag. I'll put one on this evening whenever I start home or this afternoon because I probably ain't going to stay a full day at work. Uh, today would be my regular scheduled day off after working Saturday. But I have like four cars sitting there I need to uh, go in and order parts for and all that kind of stuff. Okay, sudden stop people. Other than that, not much going on. Uh, been watching a couple of YouTube vids. Uh, through this visor is one. If y'all are not sub to him, he's pretty cool. Kind of a young guy. Uh, he is attending MMI down in uh, Florida, Motorcycle Mechanics Institute, and uh, he rides a Honda CBR 600. I have enjoyed what few vids I have saw of his, and uh, he's kind of new, I do believe anyway. I know he was new to me when I stumbled across him. Uh, let's see, another one uh, for people who like to watch uh, bike related stuff, uh, there's one called Hack a week. H A C K W E E K or H A C K A W E E K. Uh, 
y'all check his channel out. He is building a cafe racer out of a V65 Sabre. Out of a Honda V65 Sabre, he's got like 32 vids, uh, or 34, 36, I can't remember the total count. But uh, he's just about ready to go to paint. Uh, he's just about ready to start spray painting the, the, uh, the tank and the tailpiece. So that's pretty much all he's got to paint. Uh, it was a pretty interesting uh, watching him build or transform that V65 into a cafe. Uh, he is pretty good at what he's doing. So y'all check him out. And uh, he lives somewhere up, not too terribly far from me. He lives in North Carolina somewhere, although be it, I don't know what part. Um, let's see, what else? Um, keep your prayers out for one of the guys I worked with. Uh, he is having, or his wife is having uh, problems. She had kidney stones and uh, one of them blocked in her urethra, I think. And uh, they went in and finally got that one out. Um, so, continuously losing weight uh, and no appetite right now. They're, they went back to the doctor yesterday to uh, figure out what's wrong with, you know, why she's not wanting to eat and why she ain't got an appetite and that kind of thing and why she's losing weight. And then lo and behold, last night he was coming down the steps and tripped over the dog and fell and I'm not sure how hurt he is. He's supposed to be back at work this morning. So I will go and make sure he's there and make sure he ain't limping real bad. But other than that, things are going pretty well right now. Uh, I've looked on eBay and found a couple of bike seats because I need to replace mine or get mine redone. I'm gonna probably get mine redone, but I may replace it first. Uh, unless I can find another Corbin seat real cheap, which I know that ain't likely to happen. Not a Corbin. But at any rate, that's about it for now. <sighs> I am tired already. Rough morning at Uppus. Yeah, get out of my way, Forerunner. I need to go go. I'm already late for work. Of course, I don't want to go go too fast through this area either. And I got a couple of stickers in the mail, which I've got that video on my phone. I will be uploading it whenever I get to work where I can use their. Uh, 15 megs down and 15 megs up on uh, uh, internet, Wi-Fi, instead of using my phone data, and uh, we're going to run that one up. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's, uh, I got more mail from uh, Brian West 58 and I am still expecting some mail from RC62 and some mail from uh, from Kiddo Racing as well I had to put Brian West 58 stickers because they're red I had to put them on the uh, right beside the NT8 stickers or got NT8 
stickers because they'll show up better on the black uh, top case. And it all depends on what color the stickers are when I receive them and where they go on the bike. Um, I've still yet got to get some made myself. Which uh, I'm going to get my good bro Muzzle Mike to come up with something for me, hopefully. Whenever he gets caught up with everything he's got going on. Come up with a design. it'll never be completed because it's a rat bike but uh that man is super talented uh fabricating a tail uh tail fender uh, i forget what he called it but uh and the way he went about doing it i'd have never thought of doing it in a million years Well, I'm just about at my Ford shop, so with that, I will say catch y'all later. See you this afternoon.